All right, we're at Mania season here. Getting ready for Mania 31. This is my boy Corey Pollard here. Yeah. Hey, how'd you make that money in the bank briefcase, dog? It's pretty cool. How'd you? Let me see the back. Oh, it's just. How'd you make that? Well, what I did is like this is to be my old um, briefcase for an art class. Yeah. And since the paint is all dead and gone now, I decided to keep this around. I was like, hmm. Let me how'd you put that money in the bank on there? Is that a, you painted just, it? No, I, what I did, I just printed it out online from my, my computer. Yeah, that's fucking and awesome, I just dude. Hey, open the briefcase to see what it looks like. You should put a fake contract in there. I should. <laughs> oh, you didn't put shit in there. Nah, but that should be cool, though. I would like to make like a fake contract. Nah, it's pretty cool, man. Oh, yeah. And I got my heavyweight title here, as you can see. My uh, Here, Troy, I'll let you hold it. Brother. What do you got on, Troy? Oh, I'm over here. Got the... Uh, one of the NXT superstars, Baron Corbin, the lone wolf of NXT. Oh, that's what's up. Hey, so what do you guys think of WrestleMania? What are y'all expecting from that? Um, I, I, I just want some excitement. You know, I, I want something that will make the crowd just stay on their feet. What if they just had the tug of war thing in the ring? Gay! <laughs> yeah, that was some faggoty ass shit that they put in there when they were tug of war over that belt. Yeah. That was just, just a disaster. I hope they don't do that shit again. Oh. But we're here at the corridor. This is our new spot right here. Um, it's the first time we've been here. Brittany and uh, Elmer, give them a shout out. You know, they were the ones that told us about it. We're here off of Highway 6, so I'm hoping that this mania is going to be at least halfway decent. I mean, I hope so, you know. And because uh, if not, I'm going to be really pissed off and I'm going to be really, like, shocked and really irritated at the world if they don't at least have a decent pay-per-view here tonight. Is it, it sounds like a, just a regular pay-per-view to me. Like, that's the way they've been booking it, you know? Yeah, that is true, man. It's the corridor right here. Look at this place, man. It's pretty cool. Sports Lounge, man. This is the place to be. This is first, the first time they open, huh? Okay. Got like little pool tables here. It's got your little little bar area here, and then we're gonna go sit at Mania, try to find our little table where we're sitting at. Okay, we got the crew here. We got the band here. Damn, we got a lot of people here in attendance. Uh, got a lot of people here. You don't have a tag team card, you're not just the money in the bank. Go home. What's up, John? We got the best table. We got the best table? Yeah, we do. So what do you think of that tug of war match on Raw? Epic build? It was pretty whack. <laughs> it was up. Oh, it's pretty whack? So this, this is our new this is our new spot right here yeah, where we're gonna yeah, set up. Yeah. So Hey Ashley, what's up? Hey Ashley, what'd you think of your tug of war match between your boo? Huh? That tug of war match with Reigns, what'd you think? It was epic, wasn't it? When they were taking the title. In case you guys like sarcasm, that's pretty much what it was. Corey's got his money in the bank briefcase. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm starting off with a Diet Coke. What's up, brother? That's my boy Tyler. Oh, bad news. Too bad they don't. I got some bad news for you. Wade Barrett no longer does that anymore. <laughs> You know, they're showing the Undertaker losing. Yeah, they should have never had Taker lose that match, man. So what do you think of the setup, John? What do you think overall? It's good. The uh, menu looks a little vague, but... It's a little limited, but... I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the outside real quick. All right, we're going to take a look at the outside. They got like a little patio here. This is a new little setup, hopefully. Uh, we can get something going here. We don't have to do the Diablo Loco thing anymore. I'm getting tired of that place. Okay, that's that's a little balcony area right here. As you can see, it's got little chairs and stuff. But uh, this is where they're going to have them on the TVs right here. As you can see, they got the TV right here set up. Oh, what's up? All right, here goes the corridor menu. This is the corridor sports. The appetizers, nachos, wings, tenor basket. These are the sauces you get. Hey, let me show it. Ooh, chips and salsa. Maybe I should have got some of that. John Cena. That corridor looks good. You get Angus beef topped with fried egg, dude. That looks good. The corridor. Yeah. 
I'm hungry right now, man. I haven't eaten since earlier. Yeah, I am too. I'm hoping this pay per view is at least decent, you know, for the most part. I, I like this setup. I, I, I mean, I like the setup. It looks more private, it looks more smaller. They even got an outside balcony, John. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, did, did y'all hear about what Roman Reigns? I'm putting this on camera because I want y'all to hear what Roman Reigns said on ESPN. What's up? He said any of his haters on the YWC, IWC, which is the internet community, because I make, I, I make videos on the internet on YouTube. He said if we have anything to say to him, we have to say it to his face. And he said he knows we won't do it. I would fucking do it. Would you do it? Do it. Go ahead and put it. Yeah, because he said he would okay, kick our Roman, ass. Roman, he's he's oh, like, we can have, we can have <laughs> much of us. <laughs> we can have an eye to eye, but the problem is you won't know what to say. Or you'll talk about beanstalks and giants. And then you'll use your same five moves. Superman punch. Running. I hate that. The Samoan Superman drop. Punch. The spear. Running drop kick. And then a, a recently had a superplex. Five. So so what is Roman Reigns missing? Because like it seemed like since the Rumble, people just booing him. They don't like him. They just well, people I will give gave a this. quick reaction. What You're is right. it about him that people don't like? Let me tell you exactly what it is. His match at Fastlane with Daniel Bryan was, was one of the best matches I've seen in a while. That was a good match. But Daniel Bryan didn't carry him like he did at SummerSlam. He got carried by Orton. What is Roman Reigns missing? Personality. Charisma. What he needs is he needs to put himself into the character. No more, hey, uh, Roman, say this. I think they'll like See, this. <laughs> Roman, say this. I think people will like this. That's what Vince, that's the problem with Vince. He thinks we know what we like, so he tries wait, to Wait, wait, wait. So, so is Roman Reigns, is he reading from a script, or is that his own oh, words? Yeah, no. I he's hope that's not his own writing, because God damn it. Right he needs to go back. Some to oh, eighth grade writing. <laughs> learn how to properly make a paper. Someone's writing it. Somebody else. Someone is else. Writing. And the problem is, Roman Reigns is so hungry for uh, fame. What he's doing is, CM Punk would take what people wrote him, look at it. This is bullshit. Throw it away. And Roman Reigns is like, get it, get it, get it. Let me see. He doesn't care. He Where's doesn't, the rest of my script? He doesn't edit hey. it. He <laughs> looks at Where it. That? What else do you guys want me to do? <laughs> what else do you want me to do? He doesn't like. He doesn't want to say no. I don't want this. In fair, in fair to say that. In fair to say that Paul Heyman and Bray Wyatt are like the top two guys in the business right now that that, that, just, oh that are just yes. intellectually yes. genius on the mic. Yes. Like they know what to write at a short time. They put it together and they deliver it. I can't name a Paul Heyman promo that was bad. And the, you know what, when, you know what, the only thing I feel bad about Paul Heyman, somebody told him in his ear, hey, put Roman Reigns over. Yes. <laughs> At the beginning you see, he's really trying to get. Bad. Yes, he was. He he's was really trying cool. to get people like, enticed on Roman. Yeah, he was putting Reigns. That's why he's like, I put my money on yes. Reigns. Yes. I put my money on Reigns. Yes, he I'm was. like, he was okay, are you a Raymond? Are you a Reigns guy? Or are you a Lesnar guy? Because it seems like you're trying to put Reigns over. See, the thing is, they've been doing this. For, you gotta make Roman look strong. Like Steve Punk. Steve Punk. Hey, you gotta make, you gotta make Roman, Roman look Reigns. strong. Yeah. Hey, oh, could you take me? Could you take me up? Yeah. But you gotta make Roman look strong. Hey, uh, could I get this sub with extra pickles? Sure, sure. You but you gotta make Roman, Roman look strong. <laughs> that shit was awesome. Yeah. Here's okay. Your, here's your laundry, sir. Okay, can, can Roman lose this match and still look strong? No. Or no, are no. you saying there's he, nothing we can do no. with him? The reason why is he won. There's not that many people who won the Royal Rumble and lost the main event of WrestleMania. Batista is one, but there's a reason but, why. But, but if Lesnar winning, it would be worse than Lesnar losing. No, 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 no. It'd be worse for Roman, and it'd be a little worse for WWE, the look that they would have that they didn't have confidence in Roman. It would be good for us. We'd like Roman to lose, because Brock Lesnar is champion, he has more dates, he has he signed a multi-year contract. We'd see more Lesnar. But the problem with Lesnar is, Lesnar agreed, I would do more dates if Vince McMahon, no, Lesnar said, I will do more dates, I will wrestle more if you'll pay me more. What did Vince say? No. Stick to the dates. Lesnar said in an interview, I will do more dates and I will wrestle more. I'd be happy to if Vince paid him more. Does he pay him more? No, because Vince McMahon is in that time where he lost all the money because of WWE Network not getting the right amount of subscribers. Yeah. So he has to pay people less. That's why he fired a fuckload of people. I sub he and fired, unsub every month. He fired, <laughs> he, he fired, was it Steamboat? Or did he fire yeah, Dragon? Yeah, he fired Steamboat from WWE, like advising wrestlers or something yeah, because he needed see. money. He yeah. fired Brodus Clay. He fired 3MB. This is when he cut all those people because he lost a lot of, it was like 750 mil or something wow. like that. He lost a lot of money on the WWE Network. So he's not going to pay anyone extra for anything unless it's the fucking Raw. Hey, th this is what I was suggesting about the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Instead of getting a stupid 
trophy that's going to get destroyed on Raw. <laughs> why, well, then, 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 why, then why don't you just book it to where whoever wins gets the title shot and the trophy? Like, give meaning to it. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Right. Give some sort of importance other than just yeah. winning yeah. some stupid over-the-top battle royal with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, or know. at least have the person who wins the yeah. battle royal fight over the Money in the Bank briefcase. Yeah. Have a feud with that or something something important. What happened to Cesaro? At, Cesaro had a big push. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was supposed to be Cesaro versus Lesnar in SummerSlam 2014. What happened? He was... I don't... Where did Cena get inserted into that? Why? <laughs> Cesaro, nothing happened. He won the thing. He paired up with Hayden. Which is okay, why does not... Why does WWE right. do not like Roman Reigns? When the Shield broke up, yeah. no one disliked Roman Reigns. All right? Yeah. He was starting... They, we could see that they were starting to push Roman Reigns, as you can see at Battle Battleground and everything. So here's what happened. Then he got hurt. That's exactly what happened. All those months of them getting ready to prep him, we would have liked him more if he didn't get hurt because we would have seen him wrestle more. He would have expanded. Problem is, he got hurt and he was out for a long time. He had to come back level one, or let's say level two instead of level ten. So he came back and they shoved him down our throats even more. And we're like, at the Rumble. He's, exactly. So it's not WWE's fault. It's just Roman got hurt at the wrong time. That's the only thing that happened. Sometimes people get hurt at the right time. Like do, you, do you think they should have inserted him in, in a mid card, like US Intercontinental, as opposed to the heavyweight? Yeah, because yes. They, they, Give him time to grow. But the thing is, he hurt himself. If he would not have hurt himself, everybody here would be like, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. We're not used to him. He hurt. We're not used to him. He was gone for like, what? Four, five, six five, months. Five, six months. That time, can you imagine how he would have improved? He's improved now. But think about it. He would have had all that time and this time. He would have been an amazing You know what person. one of the IWC members brought up, and I was listening to his uh, his uh, video the other day, Wrestling Jesus. He said, fans are punished. I mean, WWE's punishing us for booing Reigns by making uh, Daniel Bryan lose cleanly to Ziggler week to week. Do you think no. that has something to do with it? No, the reason why they're doing that is because they're basically saying, look, you're going to lose to Ziggler on national television, but you're going to win the title at uh, WrestleMania. That's what always happens. Do you think Ambrose should win the IC title? Yes, but no, yes, no. no. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Win that title. Let me tell you why he shouldn't win that title. What? Cena wins the U.S. title. Ryan wins the Intercontinental title. Those crappy titles become so prestigious. Whenever I watch Daniel Bryan, I know I'm going to get a good wrestling match. So if he has the Intercontinental title, even better. It's gonna, it ups the ante. Exactly. It ups the ante. Like it was in the '90s and the '80s. It, it ups right. the ante. I mean, and then you have Cena. Cena's a draw regardless. He's so he's going to be have the U.S. United States title. Throw any NXT, throw any mid card person with him. Damn. Now you have Cena fighting for a title against a normal person. That's good for that normal person. That's good for the United States title. That's good for WWE regardless. But well, overall, perfect. he still sucks. Cena, well, you know, but he's still a draw. Well, I mean, well, I, well, I think if he had a little more edge to his character, if yeah. he had a little more, uh, uh, well, heels obviously not the question, but if he had a little, if his character was a little more edgy, I would like that. You're right. You know, uh, something I was going to say. It was but like but too. if he's still going to be that purple dinosaur on Monday, I don't know if I want to, you know, want to okay. see that nah, again. You he, know? He's just a big ass bowl of foodie pebbles. Uh -huh. But would you, would you be upset if Reigns won? Oh, good. No. That's what, thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm gonna get to, let me tell you why Reigns winning is a good thing. If Reigns wins the title, this is what means WWE is ready to usher in the next stage of superstars. Right. That means the main people are going to be Daniel Bryan, Wyatt definitely, yeah. and Seth Wallace. That means the young generation is finally up top. That means we're going to have fresh matchups. Roman Reigns versus a bunch of new people. No more Cena versus Randy Orton, 35,000. <laughs> we'll be dead. confident. Finally. And if Roman Reigns wins, that means mid-card titles are popular again. All right, if, if, Re if Reigns wins, who's his next opponent? Like, what's his next feud? That's, if... It depends. Obviously, since Lesnar signed up for more years, he's going to get a rematch. He's going to get a rematch. Rollins still has his cash in. So there's a lot of things awesome. they can do with Oh, shit. <laughs> the awesome. suit isn't dead. Hey, that's clever. Oh, shit. And one of them a child molester? <laughs> Probably, man. Yeah, one of the Briscoes are. It was wow. one of the Patterson brothers. They showed Jamie Noble being scared. It's funny because they're so short. How are you? You missed the women talking like. Yeah, it's the one in the blonde hair. I can't believe they hired him again. Yeah, Joe, yeah he Joey was a child molester or something like that. Kidding? Yeah, yeah, but I think. Just my time. Okay, guys, Sting and Triple H, give me a winner. Give me a winner. Heard, this, this is going to be Sting's last match, so we don't Sting. know. Sting, yeah. Ash? Go get him on the way.
staying? Nobody's picking Triple H? No one's picking Triple H? No, the reason why not picking Triple H is because Sting's first and last match, Triple H isn't going over. What would that do for him? Yeah, you have to have, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Damn, John, that's you right there? That's me. Holy shit. Wow. I'm impressed, John. I'm impressed. Wow. Brian Witch, yes! 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 Brian wins, I'm okay with that. That was not it right there. Uh, kick out, kick out, kick out. Come on, replay, here it goes. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Here goes the Sting impersonation in the ring. Triple H! Hold on, Sonny! I need to find my gun shirt! I can see! You're gonna be there at WrestleMania 50! Oh, no, no, Triple H! No! You're contracted to WrestleMania 50! You honor your word, damn it! <laughs> I don't care what your medical condition is. When I say you have a contract, you better be there. What did I just sign? <laughs> hey, you heard him say what he just signed. <laughs> hey, Corey, did you hear that? He said, what did I just sign? Am I going to get an inheritance? What happened? I'm done. I'm done. Like now, can you see? 
Cena won. I mean, I kind of knew Cena was going to win, but I mean, I, I guess. I mean, I kind of figured this was going to happen. The way they were booking the storyline. You wanted Russo to lose? No, this is my face when Cena wins. I mean, if they if they make Cena's like character a little more interesting, I don't mind him winning the match, you know. But if he's just going to be a jackass on Monday Night Raw again, then. Oh, they don't want to break it? They don't want, I don't know, I don't know. Did you want something else? Yeah, chili cheese fries. Yeah. I kind of figured Cena was going to win, but...